Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Mjengo Hub video. Today we're here at the Guitaro Interchange. I want to see exactly what's going on with this project because it seems to be taking forever. People are complaining and uh, it's time to get some answers. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for the support so far. Let's go. In 2018, the Kenyan government launched the ambitious Guitaro Interchange project a key component of the broader Nairobi Western Bypass development. The aim was clear and that was to ease congestion and improve connectivity between Western Bypass, Waiyaki Way and the South Bypass. This was an area which had some of the craziest traffic jams in the city. The kind of traffic that rapidly grew in towns such as Kikoyo and Kinao could not afford to have. People traveling to the western side of Kenya had started avoiding using the Waiyaki Way altogether. Nearly seven years later, it is still unclear when the project will ever end. The project was officially launched in 2018, but actual groundbreaking didn't take place until much later in 2021. This delay between announcement and physical works is not unusual for major public infrastructure projects in Kenya. Often, projects launches are tied to political timelines or budgetary cycles, while the actual procurement, compensation, and design processes continue in the background. According to Kenha, the Guitaro interchange was part of the Western Bypass contract awarded to the China Road and Bridge Corporation, that's CRBC, with an overall project budget of 12.5 billion Kenya shillings. The consultant supervising the project was EPEC Consortium, which includes EPEC Consulting Engineers, and China Railways First Survey and Design Institute. The scope included construction of the Gitaru flyover, connecting ramps, slip roads and drainage. These are the components that make a proper interchange, thanks to some legendary German engineers who invented the clover leaf. This was to ensure seamless movement on Waiyaki Way, the Southern Bypass and the Western Bypass, which leads to Ruaka, where it connects to Nairobi Northern Bypass Highway through Limuru Road. By late 2024, the project appeared to have gained momentum and as of November 2024, visible tarmacking had been done on key segments of the interchange. For example, the southern bypass ramp looked complete with proper surfacing in place. However, several other ramps and lanes, particularly those feeding into and from Waiyaki Way, were still pending pavement and tarmacking works. At the time, there was hope that the project might meet the revised timelines. In fact, Kenha officials had earlier stated that the project could be completed in 2025. But unless something changes in the near term, this projection may no longer be realistic because for the entirety of 2025, there has been little visible activity on site. There has been no major mobilization that will signal a project nearing completion except for some marang being prepped for the sub-base at the ramp from Waiyaki Way, left turn. And yet, this is not a small backstreet project. The Gitaro Interchange is a vital node meant to decongest one of the busiest highway intersections in the Nairobi metropolitan area. Every day of delay means more frustration for motorists trying to connect between the western suburbs and Nairobi's southern corridor, and locals wondering what exactly is going on with the project, which was to attract investments in the area and boost the local economy. Affordable housing Kikuyu project is right next to the interchange and it will be very nice to see more of such developments around the interchange. So what could be behind the stagnation? Increasingly, we are seeing fewer large-scale fully funded government projects. Instead, the state is prioritizing PPPs such as the Usahihi Expressway, which we covered in our previous video, where private investors front the capital in exchange for long-term tolling or management rights. It's a model that shifts financial burden away from the government budget. This has been touted as a game changer in national debt management. The Guitaro Interchange, by contrast, is a traditional public infrastructure project bundled under a contract that's already running and financed. This might explain why it's not being prioritized as urgent. There's no flashy investor launch, no new financial deal to unveil and limited political capital to be gained from a project that weirdly seems to be already fulfilling some of its originally intended functions but still putting lives at risk. There are no street lights, no pedestrian bridges, limited landmarkings and no proper signages 
except for some small boats showing exits like the one on showing the ex exit to the southern bypass junctions remain unclear and in their current state some of them are simply dangerous that's not to say that the project has been officially stalled but based on ground observation it's hard to argue that any serious work is ongoing with no consistent activity visible for months Commuters are left wondering if this is another forgotten project or required resumption is around the corner. Unless something changes soon, be it renewed budget allocation, contractor mobilization, or pressure from the public, it's unlikely that the interchange will be completed by end of 2025. Let me know what you think. Is this delay due to shifting priorities, budget problems, or simply poor project management? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and as always, Keep it locked on Django Hub to stay updated on Kenya's important infrastructure updates that could possibly influence your next investment or your next big decision. Stay safe. Adios.